Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome. My name, of course, is Open Potato. Welcome back to Captain of Industry, where in the last episode, we did a whole bunch of exploration. And uh, we've done, yeah, we've done everything. We've done everything. We've gone everywhere. I said we've gone everywhere. Come on, video game. Why did you embarrass me in front of my friends? Just at that, just at that really awkward moment. Anyway, uh, yeah, so we've done... We've done all of the exploration of the map, bar one. Obviously, we haven't gone past the uh, the enemy locations yet. We've still got to we still got to get the uh, the upgraded turrets or whatever it is in order to get that. We've done a whole bunch of research. Uh, we're working on cargo depot, hopefully, so that we can start thinking about bringing oil into our oil processing area. This is apparently our oil processing area now. Uh, what else? Uh, what also else do we have to do in this episode? I'll tell you. We need to get we need to get more water. We need to get more water. It's pretty critical that we that we get more. I mean, we use 48 water every 60 seconds, and we have an average water collection of 3.5. So we either need to get a whole bunch of additional rainwater harvesters, very, very possible, or uh, we need to get... In fact, these should be all set to off. There we go. Copy that. Paste to there. Yeah. Uh, we either need to get more and more rainwater harvesters, or which is what I think we're probably going to go and do, is we're just going to get ourselves a groundwater pump set up over here. I appreciate, of course, that we don't actually have uh, the resources to build such a thing right now. There we go. It's going to be a bit of a long-term project. I say a long-term project, a little bit of a longer-term project. Uh, yep, and you can head back home. Cool. All right, so we had actually done all of the exploration and it was just a matter of time uh, before that sort of happened. Anyway, uh, shall we get... Shall we get... Not lab equipment up and running. Wait, are we still manufacturing? Are we manufacturing vehicle parts? Yeah, we are manufacturing vehicle parts. Uh, but we are missing iron. Yeah, truly it's disturbing how much iron we require. Yeah, I worry that it's just like, it's such a journey. Like it is such a long journey to actually get from one uh, from one place to another. Also, I think I'm gonna turn off partially filled trucks. Small excavator has no fuel, but that's a lie because we should be able to just fuel up. Yeah, look at that. The fuel truck is en route. Fuel truck is en route, it's happening. Okay. So, on the whole, we're in a good place. We're in a very, very good place. Anything that we want here, industrial edicts, maybe. Fuel consumption down. Farm yield increased by 10. Water demands by 10. Reduces water consumption in settlements and farms. Not particularly. I think I'm just kind of content to just build up my unity slowly but surely. Uh, over the course of time. To me, that seems fairly reasonable. Yep, not too, not too displeased with that. I think we're kind of happy. I just don't want any additional people. That's that's what we can't have. Uh, 80 of those. No. 100, uh, 240 iron. I mean, we have a bit of iron, but nowhere near that amount. Construction components. We've got a load of construction components, but we have nowhere near enough copper. Is that the real issue for now? I think it is. The real issue seems to be that we just don't have enough copper over here. I mean, look, if we get the excavators, if we get the excavators sorted, then, I mean, we are, we're sitting pretty. So, can I... Can I make this, like, a number one priority? I mean, no, let's not make it a number one priority. Make it, like, a priority three. It's important, but it's not critical. It's important, but it's not critical, and let's also get it upgraded, whichever, whichever one we, we do do. Oh, we can't even get it upgraded. Cargo depot. Excellent. We're going to get a cargo depot up and running, actually. Ooh, these retaining walls. I like the I like the look of that, actually. I like the look of that a lot. Cargo depot, I'm going to get built. We're going to get it built uh, exactly where I said it was going to go, which is going to be, like, here. If we can squeeze it in, we absolutely can. And we're going to get two fluid modules i don't think we actually want anything else we're going to leave that as is and then we're going to get that configured to deal with uh diesel and oil and all of that sort of stuff yeah 
Very important. God, this process just feels so inefficient. It really does. I think we just need way more excavators. I, I really sincerely mean that. I think we're going to boost you. Yeah, lamp components. Uh, I mean, lamp components are a bit... A bit of a faff, to be honest. Not sure how much I like them. Like the idea of them. They're, they're there. Um, but they're not... Not necessarily making... Huge impact, a huge difference. God, just give me a second excavator for copper, honestly. Same with sand, to be fair. I mean, we need a lot of sand and we just ain't got it. Sand is what we really require. Although, I mean, we... we we have enough concrete at the moment, so I suppose I'm making a complaint about about nothing. But vehicle parts, vehicle parts are what we need. Beautiful, look at that. Making some progress, brilliant. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. We can... We can increase the number of trucks that we have uh, working here again. I mean, we did have a large number of trucks working here before, but... Then things kind of got messy, and I had to sort of unassign them. But that is what it is. Also, this big old pipe has 87 level 2 construction components. That is nothing to sniff at. That is a lot. That is a huge amount. 18 workers spare. 18 workers spare, and literally the only thing that we could possibly need is more excavators. I think the, the excavator priority is going to be as follows. Copper, in the first instance. It has to be. Absolutely has to be. Get another excavator queued up immediately. Uh, and then maybe another copper. Then maybe sand. Because believe it or not, I think we're kind of fine for... There we go. There it is. I think we're actually... I think we're actually fine for... for I think we're fine for excavators in the iron department, and I think we're fine for excavators in the coal department. Got a lot of excavators over there. It's going well, yeah. There we go. Are we gonna need it? Are we gonna need any more trucks? Really shouldn't. I'll assign another one just to be on the safe side. But the journey is literally I mean it's not very far. Where were you going? Where the heck did you go? I feel like four trucks is the perfect amount. We always have like one or two trucks waiting. There we go. Perfect. Now, that may seem like craziness to have, but I think what we've done is created a system that is going to allow us to... Uh... Oh, you're dumping dirt. That's fine. I was going to say, what on earth are you doing? Yeah, no, that's really, really good. Okay, that's a huge, that's a hugely positive change. It really is. God, these things just eat copper. Maybe I'm just missing something, but I, I feel like the, the amount of iron ore that all of this stuff is going through and the amount of copper ore that these things are going through is just crazy. It's really, really large. It's a lot of stuff. All right, we're almost there. We've almost got the construction components that we require. I'm going to speed build this whenever I have the opportunity. And then we're going to get other two of those, and then we're going to get a whole bunch of trucks. We do need to sort of set up a formal process here, but, I mean, you know. Now does not feel like the time. It just doesn't feel like the time. Speaking of the time, should I... Should I duplicate this? I don't think I'm actually against what I'm about to do. Yeah, I think that's a good call. The reason that I think that that's a good call is that it's going to be relatively uh, unintrusive, but it does accurately reflect... Excuse me, there we go. Uh, it does accurately reflect the urgency with which we need... What the heck? Uh, copper. As we do.
We do need the old copper. Okay, excellent. Right, is that it in terms of outputs? No, we gotta get a slag output. Sure, it's messy, but I like it. I also should have copied the configuration. So that we don't have to set up all of the, the daft stuff again. Advanced diesel. Oh boy, that's good. That's exactly what I was waiting for. Right, get all of this unpaused. Uh, none of it really requires level 2 construction components, apart from like this belts and stuff. There we go, there we go. I mean, is this going to need... That's fine, that's fine too. Your copper ore, your coal ore, and make sure that's full. Make sure that's full. Now, yeah, things are going to get busy because whenever, you know, we do a big old construction project, things get busy. That's just the nature of how this game works. That's fine with me. That is fine. We don't mind busy. We do not mind busy at all. Right, advanced diesel. That's something that we're going to play around with for sure. Okay, we're actually building more excavators than we ever have before. What do I need? Do I need more copper? You know what? I think I might stick another another one in copper. I did say that I needed another excavator for sand, so let's let's get that built, sure. I also think I might need more iron production. I don't know what I need, but I need Ah. I see. Yes, I see. We now have um, what we call a bit of a problem. Yeah. Disappointing. Disappointing. There's always something, isn't there? Always something. It's fine, though. Uh, d -d 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 sand? Do I want sand? No, I don't really want sand. What's stopping? What's stopping me from making, making more stuff here? You know what? Just give me another copper. Give me another copper excavator. Sure. Uh, right, this is definitely going to be the last excavator. Then we'll get to work on, on other stuff. Yeah, this process is a little... This process is a little daft. There needs to be a more, uh, a more elegant solution to this problem here. And there is a more elegant solution to this problem. But not enough workers. Ah, yes, a whole bunch of extra infrastructures come online. Well, we can adopt, and I kind of feel like maybe that's the way that we go about doing things. I am, like, unbelievably stressed out by the fact that we still have got, like, a massive population, and there's seemingly, like... I mean, it's not like there's nothing to... There's nothing to worry about, but, I mean, I'm, I'm worried about food, you know? I'm always worried about the fact that we could be... We could be in a, in a food a food bad situation very, very shortly. Uh, we are in an extremely busy state, apparently. Not quite sure how much I believe of that. But it's okay. Yeah, slag crush, that's, that's fine. Again, that's fine. We need to, we need to be more elegant. We need to be more elegant, that's, it's very important. Right, electronics, why on earth is there not any copper here? There should be. There's too much oh, slag. Okay, there we go. Again, slag is the problem. Who'd have thought? Who'd have honestly thought? Okay, dumping designation. Let's get a dumping designation, like, out here. It's kind of close-ish. Don't think... Uh, there is a bit of copper under here. Get rid of that. Yeah, dump in that area. Okay. So if we leave that on empty mode, you're going to take the slag and you're going to dump it in the ocean over there, which is perfect. That's great. Because, I, re yeah, I really think that we can probably generate enough slag over here by ourselves anyway. So, you know, let's make sure that we, let's make sure that we don't mess that up. Okay, but this is looking nice. We do need a few more peeps. We need three more workers. Adopt two more. If we adopt one more, then, then we'll be fine. We still don't have the measly 11 components that we need. 
Come on. Come on, get us across the line. It's because we it's because we've got it's because we prioritized this rightfully, uh, highly. Importantly so, uh, but it, it's now time to maybe just think about you know changing things up. Right, let's get that built and then let's go to the next let's go to the next queue. Let's resume this. Excellent. We'll get some more peeps. God. There we go. Okay. We're starting to move. That's great. This this backlog is going to clear. I hope. Right. One of you can be assigned. Let's go... Let's go sand, maybe? feels like a waste, but we'll do it anyway. Yeah, still in a state of extreme busyness. Come on. Ah, water. Water, water, water. We missed the water input. Gosh darn. Oh boy, I've, I've clunked that up, haven't I? Good thing that I didn't uh, didn't build that already. Right. Quick uh, deconstruct. Quick deconstruct. Excellent. Biofuel. Excellent. Excuse me. There we go. Uh, excuse me. It's not working. There we go. Much better. Right. Uh, so there are going to maybe be enough construction components to finish this off. We've got the slag pipe as well. That's good. Okay. Three workers. Happy days. Still a negatory. Still a negatory on that front. That's fine. Beautiful. Let's boost that a little bit. One worker. One singular worker. Please, one worker. Population growth would, would work too. Biofuel, that's nice. Happy days. Desalination is being worked on next. That's lovely. I love the idea of desalination. I just wish I could... I wish I could work it more efficiently than I'm, I'm apparently able to. Two workers. Is our population growth negative? What's the issue here? Are we... Are we dying? Is that the, is that the problem? Is, are people dying? Health is positive. Food is food is leading people to food is leading people people in a good way. We also have water. I forgot about water and uh, and electricity for the settlement. There we go. Okay, reduce that. Nice. Still extremely busy. One worker needed. Great. That's fine. Beautiful. Right. Finally, we have returned. We have returned to normality. That's excellent. And in the meantime, apparently, we've managed to pull off quite a coup. We are building. We are building, building, building. Copper is on the up and up. Apparently, we've got 500 units of copper. Must be because it's all, yeah, it's all just filled here. I mean, that's fine. Quick deliver. We can't quick deliver everything quite yet. The components are close. We're very, very close on the component front, but that's that's okay. How are we doing? How are we doing over here? The groundwater pump. Not bad. Um, whenever this starts, that's going to allow us to save a whole bunch of diesel. Because, yeah, we're at forty-six percent of diesel there. Yeah. So basically, the priority is right now is to get level two. Uh, level two construction component back up and running again. If we do that, then we'll be we'll be in a really, really nice place, and we will be sorted. I think what we want to do is probably... I mean, what do we make? We make 12, 24 every 60 seconds, and we use 3, 12. So we can actually double this and still be fine. New refugees, excellent. Copper, rubber, and diesel. I mean, a paltry amount of diesel. But that's okay. We're still in a state of extreme busyness, even though I've added a bunch of extra trucks 
Uh, on. That's fine. Right, I'm going to get this upgraded. I'm going to put this as the priority. So, hopefully, all of these machines are just going to be able to upgrade themselves. There we go. And upgrade, upgrade. Cool. So, they should be able to build at the same time. And then that's just going to make everything go so much quicker. And now, how are we doing? Let's make sure that we keep this at least a little bit empty. Okay, sand is looking much better. But again, our concrete production hasn't really been... Hasn't really been working in the way that it should be. Vehicle parts, that's looking fine. Electronics, we got a lot of electronics. It's pretty nice. Yep, that's all happening at a decent rate. Brilliant. Okay. Good. We're in a good place. So, food supply. Uh, we're coming down the we're coming down the food the food crunch the food crunch line, that's for sure. So if we get this area sorted, then that's gonna fix our power situation. I mean if I was to get a problem is we got the groundwater pump over here. If I was to get a pipe that led all the way to this side of the map. Would that work? I mean, it would work. I legitimately think that we probably don't have another option for what we're doing here. Let's get this built. And the good thing about doing this is that it's actually gonna, it's actually gonna use a whole bunch of our, a whole bunch of our concrete, which we actually need to get rid of. Groundwater pump, yep. We're just gonna get one groundwater pump for now. Beautiful. Right, somewhere in here we should probably have a buffer. I guess is I guess here is as uh, good as anywhere to to have it. I'm gonna make sure that it's all connected together in nice fashion. See, I wonder what the I wonder what these pipes in the inconvenient places that they're in do to the driving time. Yeah. It's probably not great, is it? Let's actually get another one. Uh, what am I looking for? Yeah, I'm really trying to like sort of plan ahead. Excuse me. There we go. Yeah, I'm really trying to like plan ahead and make sure that I get stuff that is actually useful. Okay, here we go. Quick deliver. On pause. There we go. That should all be accessible. Should be no issues. Good. Okay, nice. We're sticking with level two pipe here, just again to be on the safe side. I know there's a fertilizer input, and we're we're gonna utilize that at some point, but for now, let's let's not worry about it. Right. Um why on earth did we run out of workers and or and or food? We're growing a whole bunch of green manure right now. That's pretty useless to be honest. Is it maybe time for a food saver edict? Sure. Let's do that. And then also food saver. Yeah, nice. So, yeah, growth rate and uh, also also uh, water saver, food food saver, whatever. You get the picture. We just did it. Right. Uh, we can start on this process. In fact, holy cow, look at the number of construction component level, level twos that we've got. We're in a great place. Uh, we should be pumping from here, which is great because that means that our power is is now officially going to be in a decent place. There is a balancing uh, process that I want to do over there, but I'll do that in just a second. We'll worry about that literally in a moment. Uh, for now, let's get this process started. There we go. And we'll start, uh, we'll start building that. 
Right, 20, 20 components. What's the issue here? Mechanical components. Mechanical components because we just do not have the iron. And that is not cool. That's what it is. It's not cool. Advanced logistics. Hold on. Cancel whatever this is. I really don't care. Let's get advanced logistics. So that's going to allow us to really sort of pinpoint where the issues are. It's also adopt like six population. I have no idea where this added infrastructure is coming from or these added demands are coming from. Is it the groundwater pump? It must be the groundwater pump. Okay. The good news is, is that this is going to be a really, really quick build and it's going to allow us to... It's going to allow us to increase our food security pretty dramatically. And it's maybe even worth us thinking about some more farms. Although, if we were to think about more farms, then, oh boy, we'd need way more workers than we currently have. Either way, I'm pretty happy with this. What happened? What happened? What happened? What happened? Minus 14 pops? Cholera, low water supply. I wasn't aware that I was providing my population with water. Right. I really, genuinely, I didn't think I was. To prevent this disease, make sure your settlement is a stable, clean supply of water. Yeah, okay, maybe I should, you know, think about that. Let's, let's get the, let's get the beacon turned back on. Okay, he can turn back on. Water facility. Uh, this is going to be nasty wherever I put this, isn't it? Sure. Right, that can get built. So, I think, I think we want to get another groundwater pump over here. honest I have enough components to to just go uh you know what actually gonna get some more fluid storage in here How is everybody still extremely busy? I mean, for real. Did we just lose another batch of people? I think we did. Well, there's nothing that I can do about that, unfortunately. Everyone is still extremely busy, and yet we're able to build the, the groundwater pump in, like, record... record time? Well, I'm delighted. I'm delighted. That's, that's great news. Okay, good. Happy days. Okay, nice. And get a vehicle ramp. Let's get make it a vehicle ramp medium. First time that we've actually built one of those. Build one over there. And you know what? Just for good measure, let's get one over here. Build with unity, build with unity, build with unity. Yes, excellent. Okay, uh, where are our workers? There is not enough workers in a lot of places, but... I mean, not being in copper production could be terrible, actually. Could be terrible. Could be really, really terrible. I refuse to be... I refuse to be worried. Advanced logistics control, please give me that. That's gonna make that's gonna make everything so much easier. It really, really is. Okay. Groundwater pump, start pumping. Right, we're getting water. That's brilliant. Okay, there's a whole bunch of wastewater. Yikes. Uh hadn't really counted on on that yet. Uh let's let's get the wastewater sorted. Let's get that sorted. Liquid dump? Are we just... Are we happy to liquid dump? I mean... I wouldn't say I'm necessarily happy, but... Are we gonna do it? Yeah, we're gonna do it. The question is, really, where's the route gonna run? Okay. 
I mean, this is going to get demolished. There we go. Demolish that. So we don't have to... Don't have to worry about running it in any sort of... Okay, fine, whatever. We can run it in a funky way. That's, that's okay. This is just such a mess, isn't it? Try try the other way. Right, we're gonna clearly have to have like a crossing point here. Or two, in fact. Yeah. This is where things start to get funky. Right, we're also, like, absolutely bang out of unity. But we'll get more potatoes than we've ever had before. I mean, we should have moisture levels at near 100. Average need is 30, 40, basically 40 per 60 seconds. Uh, so we need to, like, triple. We need to triple our, our water, uh, our water pumping. We will get water from the sky. Beacon is not enough unity. Yeah. That's a shame. That's a shame. Okay, let's take the ease, uh, these edicts off. There we go. Take the edicts off. That's going to allow us to increase our workers yet again. We should have some tiny little population growth. That's good. We're also going to get, obviously, like a whole bunch of uh, unity from providing water, which is really, really nice. It's going to make a really big difference, I think. Uh, but the fact of the matter is that we don't have copper, and that is going to be a problem at some point down the line. Two months. Two months, we get 16 workers. That's going to be great. Food is bad. Food is in a bad place at the moment. Really does not feel great. Could be worse, though. Could be worse. We do need to get fertilizer if it's all possible. Yeah, you know what? Actually, it's fine. Brilliant. Happy days. We have a six-month food supply. I mean, how on earth is that even possible? That really is abysmal. Let's get that tree chopped down. This is looking much better now. Uh, I do probably want to think about my groundwater uh, supply here because, I mean, it's not going to last forever. Uh, far from it. It's going to be a constantly endangered endangered species that being said i am going to drill down on it a little bit more i don't like how basically both my uh basically both my settlement and my farming water is coming from the same groundwater source that does sort of worry me a little bit but again i'm not actually sure that that, that can really be be rectified in any meaningful way Certainly not right now. Uh, it is what it is, though. Okay, vehicle parts. We're still still boosting vehicle parts. We'll do that. Excellent. We'll wait for one or two more rounds of, I guess, current disease cold. This disease happens naturally and cannot be avoided. Why? Why? Why, 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 why? That seems miserable. And also, having the beacon on, of course, cost me unity, but there's precious little that we can do about that. Uh, right, so, where am I chopping trees? Cancel that. Cancel that. Cancel that. Cancel that. Go chop this one specific tree right here. Move this over here, and disassemble this. Diesel. Keep full. Priority like three, assign a truck. There you go. Perfect. More farming. More farming, more farming, more farming. Here comes the tree harvester. This is all fine. 
This is all fine. Our, our water pollution is going to get worse. Yeah. It is going to get a lot worse. Advanced logistics control. Yeah, how do I go about fixing this awful situation? I mean, we have lab components being built. Where is it? We're building lab components. This one here, yeah. Mechanical parts, electronics, equals lab equipment. We do actually have both of them here. You know what I'd like to do? Hold on. Copy. Paste. Again, this might be a little bit overkill, but... Let's go... Go here. I think I may have just sort of answered my own question. But we'll see in a second, won't we? Again, probably overkill on the whole buffering uh, department. And it would be really, really nice if we could automate the delivery of all of the basic resources to these places, as opposed to having all of the deliveries done by trucks. But th this is part of the this is part of what I'm trying to solve with this. So we need electrical assembly doing yeah, copy that. Uh, we need that in there. That should already be set on equipment because I held shift whilst copying. Nice. So this is going to be where we have our labs. I hate that. I hate that so much. Research lab twos. We're going to get a third research lab. Is that enough space? Did I eyeball it correctly? It actually is legitimately enough space. Perfect. Uh, that was... That was very, very nicely done, if I do indeed say so myself. There we go. Okay. It's fine. New refugees. Excellent. Still more people. That is... That is fine. That is fine. That is fine. Right. So... This makes 12 every 60 seconds, and you require, what, 4 every 60 seconds? So, I mean, we haven't actually buffered this, to be fair. I mean, if I was to just sort of take this whole thing out. If I was to take this whole thing out, we could actually buffer it. We could buffer it if we... If we did something like that. And to be fair, I mean, the. It's not actually. I mean, it, it doesn't look great, but. Doesn't add, it doesn't actually add on. Doesn't actually add on any, any sort of extra issue for us. Uh, right, we'll deconstruct you and you. Excellent. Says that 20 workers are needed. I mean, that's probably the case, but it's okay. Anyway, the other part of the equation, this area that I've just set up over here, I think, I think this is where we're going to manufacture, yeah, these bits. No, 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 no. Here we go. Priority four? It's all priority four. This, this is going to get changed. We'll change this, we'll change this later. We'll change this later. Don't worry, don't worry about it. We'll change this later. Pause that, pause that. That's fine. That's fine to to go. That's great. I mean, 32 tree harvest. There's no trees to harvest. Yeah, I forgot about that. Let's get back over here. Back over there, back over there. Cool. Okay. Good stuff. Right. 13 months worth of food. That's excellent. We're going to add on some extra food in a second. Let's pause this. Pause this. Let's keep it, let's keep it chill. Keep it chill. Yeah, I like this, I like this much better. I like this much better. How much rubber do we have? 
That is not something that I've been paying attention to. Missing input call? Oh, hold on. That's an oversight. There we go. We'll automate that. Not quite sure that uh, that needed to be needed to be in there. Turn off export. Perfect. We're almost to advanced logistics control. Oh boy, I cannot wait. That's going to be so big. That is going to be so big. Anyway, this process over here means that we can now deconstruct this. This process over here means we can deconstruct that. Uh, so, let me get this straight. You make electronics. You make them at a rate of 12 every 60 seconds. You make 12 every 60 seconds as well. What I'm interested in doing is checking... We can... Yeah, we can get a lot of these. Right, let's give this a punt. Okay. We've actually got enough workers. Again. Well, that's about to change. There we go. Okay, now we're talking. Right, so this makes... This makes that. Ah, uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Deconstruct. Sorry, 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 sorry. Here's the, here's the thing. Uh, I hadn't thought that one through because I have the iron belt over here that we need to, that we need to move into position as well. Not enough housing. Settlement is overcrowded. Uh, can we upgrade some housing, please? There we go. Let's get that. Let's get that upgraded. Let's also keep on pumping out the. Keep on pumping out the vehicles. The vehicle depot. Can we actually like add stuff to the vehicle depot by, by conveyor? No, we cannot. New refugees. Okay, great. Uh, we're gonna keep that on for now. Oh, no more refugees available. Okay, well, there's absolutely no reason to keep it on then. That's fine with me. If that's the case. Uh, yeah, so what I need to do is I need to make sure that there's a little bit more space here. I think this is like serious overkill, but you never know. We might need it. So that's good. I like that a lot. Oh, that looks nice. That looks tidy. Advanced logistics. We've freaking done it. Advanced logistics at long last. We got there. Okay, good. Sure, if you want to do that, that's that's fine too. Okay, apparently that's not fine. Undo, try again. The point is, I suppose we can come this way. The point is, is that we can allow... It was all looking so nice for a moment there, wasn't it? Uh, we can allow this iron to, you know, to get dropped down to priority five, for example. Priority five, priority five. Like, you know, let's not... Let's not go too ham. Here we go. Excellent. Okay, that looks really, really good. Okay, logistics control. Uh, do I care about this? I, I really... I don't think that I do necessarily at the moment. Because everything seems to have sort of filtered through in quite a nice way. Uh, Research-wise, I mean, can we get the, the weapons? I was waiting to say, yeah, we should maybe start thinking about doing some combat. That seems like a good idea to me. Uh, we're also going to need to get some... I mean, how do, we, how do we get fertilizer? We must be close, right? 
Must be close to fertilizer. Organic fertilizer, wheat farming, wheat seeds. We do have wheat seeds. I tell you what, give me give me this. Ship weapons. Down into here. Let's get wheat seeds. Let's get organic fertilizer. Can't get corn farming yet, so we're gonna go up and get armor. And that's gonna put us in a nice position, I think. Good. Good. Okay, also, we should have more than enough water now, apparently. Irrigation tank is maxed out. Irrigation tank is maxed out. That's excellent. Tree harvester has no fuel. That, that's it's a lie. An absolute downright lie. There's plenty of water around here. Speaking of water, how's my reserve? Yeah, it's doing okay. It's doing okay. We are pumping a lot of it into storage at the moment. And when we max out the storage, then obviously it'll change around a little bit. Uh, rubber. Why are we why are we not making rubber at the, the rate that we want to make it at? Uh, we're making it at a fine at a fine pace, to be honest. Right. The tank is is running low. I think it's time to get um, I think it's time to get to get oil imported. I think it is. I think it is. We're going to set up a very complicated... I say very complicated. It's not complicated at all. Uh, we're going to set up a very, very basic storage system over here. Which is going to allow us to store an absolute metric ton of oil. We're going to leave this oil set up as is for now. Because I think we probably want to clear all this tree stuff. Before starting properly on our brand new... Our brand new oil setup uh, but the point is is that all of the oil is going to be stored in here but it's going to come through a pipe balancer excellent is this what i want yep pipe balancer whoa this is brand new this is brand new look at this look at this look at this look at this okay uh outputs Okay, then output to there, output to there. Right, so this is in, that's out, perfect. Priority in, priority in. And then we're going to have low priority in, which is going to come from... There we go. And we'll just quick remove that. Good. I'm not really convinced this is going to make much of a difference, to be honest. Uh, try again. Yeah. We'll keep it as two separate pipes, but again, like I'm just not convinced it's going to make... Yeah, not convinced it's going to make uh, a whole world of difference. Anyway, so that comes down here, and then we feed it back into the pipe over there. And to be honest, I think I'm just going to cheat, and I'm just going to leave it as one big old pipe. Now, wow, that is so cool. I love that. I really, really like that. That is so nifty. There's no priority out. That's fine. Enforce strictly even outputs. Enforce strictly odd outputs. Cool. Brilliant. Yeah, no, I'm happy with that. That's excellent. Uh, we've run out of construction component level twos, presumably because, yeah, we don't have any rubber. And uh, we will try and fix that probably right about now. I mean, this... Let's actually just ditch all of this. I know that I just built these like earlier in this uh, episode, the episode before. But I think I would rather have the space... Also, things are stable now, apparently, which is great. There we go. Pick all this up. And also, there's no designations that are available somewhere. Let's go and fix that. I 
I mean, do we want to think about lowering? Let's just edit the area. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Edit the area, that's fine. Cool. Brilliant. Happy days. This is looking, this is looking so fresh. This is looking so brilliant. Uh, why are we having power issues? We shouldn't be having power issues. It's not a water issue here. Ah, I see. Coal. Right. Well, this is going to get bumped up to a priority three area. The issue... Yeah, okay. So the issue was that we didn't have enough coal... Coal mining operations actually in play. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Fix that. We'll, we'll get our power back, which is wonderful. Beautiful. Yikes. Is this going to fit here? You know what? For the sake of giving myself like a little bit of extra space, making it look a little bit, little bit uglier, I think I can tolerate that. Good. Exports. Wonderful. And belts. There we go. Input. Now, have we finished, have we finished this area over here? Not yet. I see what the I see what the issue is. I see what the issue is. The issue is that we just don't have enough components. That's fine. Low food supply, it's it's not true. It's a lie. Rubber we don't have diesel. Oh yeah. Yeah, I mean it's a bit of a catch twenty two, isn't it? Bit of a catch twenty two. Let's Let's real quick just do something like that. Quick deliver that. Just so that we have sort of a way for diesel to be made, fed into here, and then fed around. Yeah, it's a bit of a shame. Uh, can we do some trades? I think we can get rubber for, for trades, right? Wait, what? I have 350 rubber, supposedly. Where on earth is my rubber? And why is it not getting moved to the location that it needs to get moved to? If we're on importing duty. Where the heck is my rubber? 350 rubber somewhere? Oh, I tell you where it'll be. It's tied up in all of these... It's tied up in all these stupid places. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, because we've prioritized it at level 4. I forgot about that. Yeah. Hmm. Sure, let's do the trades. Sold out, come back later, a scandal. Okay. Let's lower the keep full rate so that we can actually allow rubber to be distributed elsewhere. Please stick it over here instead. Right, well anyway, that's gonna allow us to get more rubber, which is great. There we go. Finally, we'll process more rubber. Brilliant. Okay, that's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Uh, we still need more level two construction components. Ugh, what a shame. What a shame. Our unity cap is almost upon us. Therefore, it's pretty freaking important that we get this oil rig repaired. Um, start repairs of that. 120 level two components. Lasai. Okay, we're making we're making trucks. This is good. This is good. I'm happy with that. The city is looking fine. We haven't got settlement power yet, have we though? I did have that as an option. Settlement power. Yeah. We'll add that to the queue after we get the whole uh, uh, farming setup. Farming setup we've been talking about. The other the other stuff set up. Let's also unpause this lab. There's no reason not to have you know the lab on. Uh, ship weapons. We may need steel to actually make the weapons, but we'll 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 pootle around with that in in due course. 
Oh, hold on. We have uh, 240 things. Oh, yeah. Okay, we'll go deliver the cargo then. We'll go deliver the cargo to the cargo ship because we'll need that for our finished ship weapons. Excellent. Uh, we'll need that anyway for moving our oil around, which is pretty important. All right, let's get some guns. Ship has to be repaired. That's fine. Armor we don't have. Cool. All right, we'll deal with that. We'll deal with that when it comes back. Mechanical components apparently are what we need to repair the ship. That is that is fine with me. Right, let's prioritize all of the pipe work. There we go. It's already prioritized. That's already prioritized. I hate this whole low food situation. It's not good. Let's get a let's get a, a series of fields down. Maybe in pause mode though. I don't want to. Let's also maybe like think about this carefully and do something like that. Yeah. Actually. Is that wide enough for a vehicle ramp? No, it didn't quite eyeball at that time. We should definitely put down a vehicle ramp here, though. I should give myself some space to work with, you know? Right, we'll also check on the groundwater source just to... Again, just to make sure that we're not running... running out of resources. Cool. Beautiful. Pause mode. Yep, pause it all. It's not the priority for uh, for resources right now. That is absolutely up here. Let's get that done. Right, let's bring the boat back. And then we'll start thinking about the... Start thinking about the oil rig very, very shortly indeed. Right, rubber is coming through. That's excellent. Let's boost this. Let's boost this. We are actually at our unity cap, so, I mean, there's no reason not to in the short term anyway. Construction components there. I mean, we still need more people. That's the absolutely ludicrous... It's the absolutely ludicrous thing about this whole, whole, whole setup. We still need more people. Right, we're still logging trees as well. That's good. Should we get another tree harvester? I feel like we, we should get another tree harvester. Um, we are a little bit low on the old diesel, but pretty sure that's just because all of our pipes are just completely mangled up here. I kind of I built this with like a whole bunch of future proofing in mind, and yet I'm not actually convinced that I've ended up doing anything particularly useful. There we go. Quick build that. I think that should allow... I think that should allow this to this area to, to sort of flourish a little bit a little bit more. And we'll destroy this pipe now. There we go, because now it should be, yep, going down and it should be being moved into here. And that's great. Again, we don't need two pipes here, but we've got them, so that's fine. A little bit inefficient, but Okay. That's good. So now the the oil process should be much, much flowing much more, much more swiftly. Excellent. I know we're running low on diesel. That's fine. Burner's finished. Excellent. Don't know what that's going to do. Allow us to burn stuff off. No doubt. I know. Haha. Ha, I get it. Okay. This is good. This is good. This is good. This is good. We have 13 months worth of supply now. Terrifying prospect, but... What happened? What happened to our workers? What, what came online? Did something come online? Was it the rubber maker? Oh, it was the cruise terminal. Oh, it was the cruise cargo ship. I see. Right. Well, that's inconvenient in the extreme. However, in the short term, you know what we can do? We can unload the crew from here. Uh, tree harvesters of no trees assigned. Uh, no trucks assigned. Ah. Oh, it's the new harvester. Did we get a new harvester? Yeah, we did get a new harvester. Nice. Okay. And then, what do we care about? More trucks? Oh, we're actually straight up at cap. When's, when's management level three? 
tree harvester level two. Are we? Oh God, that might be us for a while. That's an edict. That's not even numbers. Oh, holy cow. We might be in trouble here. We might be in trouble here. Right. Can we adopt some people, please? Uh, I need to stop clicking the wrong button. Right. We're adopting people as fast as we bloomin' well can. Hopefully it'll, it'll make the difference. Uh, this is... This is fine. This is fine. Can quick deliver components. Uh, right. So, let's get the oil rig repaired, right? So let's get the oil rig repaired. 120 construction components in order to do that. We're gonna need to faff around. We're gonna need to faff around ever so slightly. Right, let's unity boost all of these. Again, believe it or not, we're still massively in positive territory here. So that's good. Positive unity territory. It's because we're getting so much unity from our, uh, our settlement water. Speaking of settlement water, how's this reserve doing? Maybe it is drawing down, like, we're ever so slightly working our reserve down, but it seems to be... It seems to be fine. It seems to be fine. It seems to be holding up, which is what matters. Right. So, as soon as we've got all of this stuff loaded... We've actually already got 100 on the boat. That's remarkable. That is very, very quick. Tree harvester has no trees to harvest. That's awful. What an what a, what an awful what an awful position to be in. There we go. Just harvest all this. In fact, no. I tell you what. Don't harvest all this. This is not what we're interested in. What we're interested in is clearing up this area, right? Yeah. Let's clear this area up for our brand new oil processing. Yeah, let's send the harvesters back across the other side of the map. Let's load up on the crew. Let's throw something else into disarray. That's fine. Let's go deliver the cargo to the oil rig. I think we need to boost our population. I think we're going to boost that. Boost that. And that's going to take us into negative unity territory, but that's fine. I mean, that's exactly where we want to be. We are rapidly, very, very rapidly building construction components so rapidly that uh, the belt can't actually keep up. Also, we need a lot more wood, but that's that's fine. It's fine for now. Okay, settlement and settlement. Uh, can we get these loaded? I guess we can, right? Right. Oil rig is being repaired. Beautiful. We will go home. I'm going to wait until we are done repairing the oil rig, just in case that ruins the repair. Brilliant. Let's go home. So, production level is at 2. Yeah, I mean, this is... Absolutely destroys. Oh, we can upgrade the oil rig. That's cool. Can we produce it like level 1? Only 18 people? Yeah, I, I think that's a little better. Costs us a little bit of unity as well. That's fine. That's fine. No worries. We can adopt, adopt the population whenever we can. Let's get this loaded onto the boats. Excellent, and then let's go and donate to the settlement. Which settlement is it? D does it matter? Deliver cargo. There you go. Okay, try that. Sure. Still don't have enough workers. I know my population is... It's booming. It's booming. We're trying here. We're trying. Let's unpause construction of this. Excellent. And we keep it coming. Keep it coming. Add two more trucks over there. Brilliant. Are we burning any of our diesel? We're not actually... Well, we are burning a little bit of diesel here. Ship delivered cargo to settlement. Yeah, what does that do? Oh, we can adopt 20 population. Oh, that's so good. Oh, that's so great. Settlement is overcrowded. That's also fine because we're going to immediately pop down an upgrade. That's going to become the priority for now. Fertility is looking uh, looking very, very good. I was thinking, why is it looking good? 
Shot probably shouldn't be looking as good as it is. Uh, we should also maybe stagger this a bit better than we uh, than we are at the moment, but it is what it is. Right, so the this is going to get upgraded. That's wonderful. Uh, ooh, wheat. Wow, bread is brand new. We got two brand new buildings here. Oh, we can grow wheat. Heck yeah, dude. You know what? Maybe that's what we grow here. Five point three, five point three, five point five. Uh, I mean, it's not actually that bad. I actually think I don't mind that. We'll try this. Try this. I'm really curious to see how this all ends up working out. But that's great though, right? That's great. Right, let's get the boat back and let's let's load it up again. Start loading for the next. Start loading for the next ship. But we're still boosting. We're still boosting all these things. Although there's pretty much no reason for us to boost these anymore. Still getting the wood through. Excellent. Two workers. Our population growth is still kind of crazy. Right, I mean, where on earth? A mill. Grinds organic products into a fine powder. And a baking unit. Bakes organic products such as bread. How cool. This is, this is legit. I mean, the potatoes, do we have to have potatoes in here? We really don't. You know what? Ditch, ditch potatoes right now. Ditch potatoes. Just give me straight up, you know, the... Just give me straight up what we need. Oh. Oh, we got the potatoes. That happened a lot more quickly than I was anticipating. Anyway, that's fine. Uh, this is a low priority thing. I don't know why... I don't know why we're building the, uh, the mill quite, quite yet. Right, so how does this come out? The potatoes... Truck auto, auto export. Yes, we'll leave this on auto export just to get rid of the potatoes. We get that housing done. Brilliant, we did. Let's nab that in there. Beautiful. And let's see if we can deliver our cargo again. Sixty. We're close. We're close. I got to be honest. I'm very, very happy with how this is all working out. This has been a truly transformational episode. It really has been. We get rid of the potatoes. We did. Let's turn that off then. Okay. So how do how do how do wheat come out? Wheat do come out into. Aggregate storage. Nice. Okay, done loading cargo for settlement. Let's go. Deliver that cargo. Get it dropped off. Okay, we got the wheat. I feel like this is maybe not a great amount of wheat, but it's okay. We don't have fertilizer yet. We can, we can worry about it all. We can worry about it all later. Okay. So, we're just going to give wheat turns into flour and animal feed. What the heck, dude? So, we're just going to give this a punt. We're going to see if this one singular thing is enough. Uh, what can we store in here? Animal feed. Okay. So, animal feed gets stored in... in these things, and I have absolutely no idea what we do with animal feed. This is so exciting. This is so unbelievably exciting. Right, then let's go food building, baking unit. I, lo <laughs> I love the idea that something is actually called a baking unit. It's, it's very, very cool. Right. Uh, 
And so this makes 16, and this uses 16 every 60 seconds. So it's a one-to-one -one ratio, but we just don't know. We just don't know how many we actually have or how many we need. That's cool. All right. Uh, I think press on, get one more upgrade. I know that we're one hour and 10 minutes into the episode, and yet the fact that we could build these construction component pieces so quickly is, is remarkable, actually. In fact, everything is, is happening remarkably quickly. Right, so it seems like one mill and one baking unit will be fine for now. But after that, so after we get the bread, what's next? What's next? Uh, f another food market, potentially? Be nice if I had the f sense to put it... To put it somewhere here. Uh, or to put... To leave a, leave a little bit of space around uh, around this area. I didn't. You know, it's, it's not the end of the world. Okay, good. So loaves of bread, presumably, are... Yep. Just there. Excellent. So... High priority that. And let's get it started. Okay, I still have absolutely no idea what we do with animal feed. I mean, does the research... Does the research tell us... Animal feed can get turned into compost. Presumably we can use it for something else, right? Like, I don't know, animal farming or something? You'd think, wouldn't you? You'd think. Low power. That's a bit of a... bit of a bummer. Let's see if we can try and copy this, this whole process. There we go, and I think that's actually it. Nice. Okay, the trucks are busy, but that's that's absolutely fine. Uh, we're low on fuel in the cargo ship. That is because we need to make sure that that is on keep full. And we're also beginning to start to see the limitations. Yeah, we're beginning to start to see the limitations of what we have here. Uh, we do not have that much... Do not have that much diesel left. Okay, do we have the appropriate components? Oh, we don't. We did, we haven't even started loading yet. Well, I can start loading now. Organic fertilizer, that's good. I like that. I like that a lot. Uh, that's great, in fact. So unbelievably exciting. So unbelievably exciting that we're going to start to tackle that in the next episode. Uh, we're getting our first bread through here. This is wonderful. I mean, that's just going to make the people of the town go absolutely crazy. Look at that little unity boost that we're getting. That is that is so great. So happy. So good. Right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you as ever for watching this episode of Captain of Industry. My name, of course, has been Obito Potato. Hopefully you've enjoyed. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.